Hey everyone and welcome to the Tech channel. Today we have a tutorial about another RTC real time clock module. It's the DS3231. I've did a tutorial before about another module which is the DS1302. First we interface it with Arduino and an LCD I squared C screen. Then we did a project on how to set it up using the keypad. Then I did an alarm clock project based on that module. You can check all these tutorials in my channel. But today we have a more reliable module which is the DS3231. Also it's more accurate. And we're gonna interface it with our Arduino board. Then we're gonna use an OLED display instead of the overused uh, LCD display. So. The DS3231 is described as more reliable due to this to to his uh, crystal which is a temperature compensated crystal oscillator that keeps the accurate time for a long period not like the DS1302 which is like after using it a month or two months you found you find that it's actually late by 2 or 3 minutes uh, which is not very reliable and the device has a battery which keeps the time as main power goes off so as i said we're gonna interface it with arduino and the oled display let's proceed to the wiring so first we're gonna only use the module with the arduino board and the module has four pins that we're gonna use actually it has six pins but we're gonna use only four we have first ground which is with the arduino ground then vcc with five volt from the arduino and then i have sda and scl with a4 and a5 that's the wiring of the module and uh, as you know it's the end SCL is for the I squared C bus. We're gonna wire our we're gonna plug Arduino in the computer and see the libraries I'm using and the code I'm using. So the Arduino is plugged in the computer and also my module is wired with the Arduino. And here in the screen I have my the library I'm using. This library actually makes the work very simple. It's made by this guy, Jarzewski, thanks to him. So, I should read this uh, link here, which because it's very important. And I'm gonna leave it in a link below video, also with the wiring and the code that uh, I will use. So here, what you need actually to read uh, carefully, it's the date and uh, hours formats so we have multiple formats like for example for today we have uh, if we write this in the code it will show us the day of the month for like in this format two digits with the leading zeros from uh, 01 to 31 or we can write it without without the leading zero like from one here without uh, zero and also you can write the day uh, day of uh, of the week here we can write it in this format man to sun or like from a whole thing but uh, monday to, uh, to sunday and also there they are multiple formats here we have like uh, for the month you should write uh, the number of the month in this format with the leading zero or without or like this format as a jan for january so you know the deal but you should read them carefully and you will, will use them in the, our codes so the library is installed in our uh, libraries here folder and i'm gonna check the first code so all, all these codes here use the only display but uh, now i want just to try the module by itself so we go to the DS3231 and we go to SIM. So this is the simple code. 
so what this code do is actually set the time and date using this uh, function date and time which gives the module the compiling time and date and here we, we print it on the serial print and we use this uh, clock dot uh, get data time the date time sorry to update the time every second so we're gonna upload the Arduino board and see the result so here we open our serial monitor as you can see this is the current date and time 12 January 2019 at 17.25 it's written as a 24 hours format that's the simple thing to use to test uh, your module to correct wiring and also there are diff very different uh, types of writing we're gonna test them by this code date format so those are how you set the date date and time if you use this function we're gonna set the actual compiling date and time of this uh, sketch or you can use this simple one which is uh, you read you write here your uh, date and time that's one very simple and can come very handy while using the keypad with the Arduino so this is another format of uh, showing the date and time and it's show you different uh, types like a uh, long number format or with names also the Unix time and also don't forget this module has a built-in uh, temperature sensor and it can show you the current temperature here it is the code is very simple so it shows you the current temperature which is nice and here in the code as you can see we have this uh, function which is force conversion because actually the modules do the temperature conversion every I think 70 70 seconds but here when you use the force conversion you force it to do the conversion uh, right away and here it's done by every min a second and as I said today we're gonna use the OLED screen and the wiring is very simple here we have the ground I'm gonna wire it with the ground here and then we have VCC you can wire it with the 3.3 volt from the Arduino then I have SDA and SCL I'm gonna wire them with this pink uh, sorry with this pins right here or I can use them here here no problem they have different uh, I square C address so there will not be any confusion and we're gonna see now our codes so those are the codes I'm using they are very simple here we call the DS library and there are like for the OLED screen libraries then for the I square C bus libraries too then we declare the width and height for the OLED display I have this uh, very little display which is nice for little projects and then we declare our display and our uh, DS3231 and then we begin the clock also the display then we clear it and what we do is just print the date and time as this format as you can see here we have the we clear the display set the text size and text color and then we set our cursor to show the hours and the minutes only and for the OLED I already did a tutorial about it you can check it in the channel if you want so here the first code and we're gonna upload it to the Arduino world
So for the second code, it's quite like the previous one, but here we just add like the seconds to print them also. And here, as you can see, I printed using this format, which is uh, I print the hour, then uh, uh, like two points, then minutes, so points and seconds, which is uh, it's not uh, very handy. We're gonna see another uh, type of uh, writing, which is uh, very simple. And that's the code number two. We're gonna see how it shows on the uh, display. code number three and it's like as this format and as you can see here how I write it at uh, h do two point sorry i and this dt like I take the hours and the minutes as in the link here as I said I took the 24 hour formats and the minute and the things you write here is what's gonna show as the format sorry code number three here h two point e and it's gonna print the hour and the minute and but i wrote here the day and the month as the other format and here as you can see you can play with the text size for here i write only two but here is text size is three that's why I use this module, it's very interesting. Let's see now the code 4. That's the code 4. As you can see, I'm just playing with the display. And I can change here the letters to write as the format I want. So this is the code for. This is how it displays. And here I have another version of code for. It shows the temperature like every 5 or 6 seconds it shows the temperature which is nice for this module see code 5 this is the code 5 also nice the hour and the minutes and those are the date format let's try now six and also as you can see i'm just playing with the format uh, just playing with my display as i said it's very nice and uh, there are a lot of uh, possibilities when using uh, this uh, module and for the last code the temperature is actually shown in uh, Celsius but we did some math to show it in Fahrenheit which is nice as we have a lot of viewers from the United States so that's it for this module I hope you like it and don't forget subscribe and uh, like if you want or if you have any suggestion or any problem you can uh, tell me in a comment or uh, contact me and that's it see you next time <laughs>